My generation sat on the brim of the ocean, waiting for the tide to bring something in. My generation was populated by booze hounds and pill heads, crude clowns and bedspreads stained with the neon dreams of cocaine fiends. I mean, the diamond flooded visions of sex kittens who sweat bullets glitter and Chanel. I mean, the ones who live in debt to buy spray cans of fake tan. I mean, the ones who drop out of college to get collagen, hoping to hook up with pop collar Gen Y men with copycat tattoos, footy contracts and right angled jaws, hoping to ride amphetamine horses and red Porsches into clubs whose shelf life is over, right about now. My generation took solace in false prophets who promised change and did more of the same, whose ideologies of optimism were turned into fridge magnets and bumper stickers. Yes, we can. Yes, we witnessed prime ministers slain, hush coups in the halls of parliament, heads rolled over bad poles, tongues lolled, drums rolled as newspapers harmonised like baying wolves. New kings and queens would smile for the all-seeing camera's eyes that blink but never flinch. Freshly anointed leaders with polished teeth and long knives, they would smile, but deep down they knew that the guillotine also waited for them. My generation bloomed with the blood of artists who sent messages in bottles that ended up lodged in bleached coral, and humanity was a deep fossil to be fossicked someday by a people other than us. While the traditional custodians of the land sweated in the concrete gizzards of Govo flats, left-wing activists sipped red wine and talked of reform. My generation had hot buttered sex to cookie cutter music, we made auto-tuned love, Men learned how to have sex on a curriculum of pixelated pink porn star pussy double D tits and digital dicks Making love between oil spills and massacres Tango between the headlines of history Flitting between hush love making and murder Drafts of cool wine and hellish salt pans wimpling with dancing mirages That brought brief joy to our desiccated hearts My generation never stopped being children We grew wearier but not wiser we grew older, but not up. And our only possessions were our winged imaginations, sitting on the brim of the ocean, waiting for the tide to bring something in.